If you want to make money as a data analyst in 2025, you have to master Microsoft Excel. So not just Microsoft Excel, you can actually master tools like Power BI and uh, this will definitely help you to make lots of money as a data analyst. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to make money as a data analyst. So we're going to be looking at how to make money from Fiverr. You can actually use Upwork, you can use freelancer.com, you can use people per hour, and as well, you can use Guru. Let's just focus on Fiverr. If you come to Fiverr, you're going to have this interface. If you don't have this interface, that, be that is because you are watching outside today, so it might change. So all you need to do is to just use this particular place to search for maybe Excel dashboard. Let's just look at what people actually you know, earning as an Excel, you know, data analyst. So over here, we have this guy with Microsoft Excel, Tableau, and Power BI, which means you can combine a lot of things in one single, you know, uh, page. So if I have this open right here, right now, you can see over here, this person had spent, I think has a 12 years experience and he has 326 orders. And uh, if you go over here now and open up this particular person right here, so this person has 11 years experience, 342 orders, and 4.8 and 162 reviews. Those numbers here, star rating and reviews are very important because those are what will definitely help people to believe you, to give you projects. It's very, very important. Uh, can you see that now? So the next thing you have to do right now is to make sure you actually master a particular software before you come over here and set up an account. Let us focus on Power BI, for example. What should be your focus on Power BI if you want to become a freelancer? The very first thing is to learn how to use Power Query to transform data, push it inside Microsoft Power BI, and create a relationship just like what you have right here right now, so that the end users can actually filter the data and have the desired views they want to actually have to actually help their business. So after that, you need to actually learn about DAX, which is Data Analysis Expression. This particular code right here has to do with DAX. So this will help you to actually, you know, answer business questions. And the end user doesn't care about what you have done right here. All they need is just to actually get this particular view to actually look at how their business goes. So which means this is important, but not very important uh, to the end users. So all they want is getting this done. But importantly, you must actually write these codes to actually generate what you have right here. So if you have to use Microsoft Excel, so inside Microsoft Excel, we have this particular pack in that look a bit rough and uh, to actually give the end user something to actually feel is for you to create a dashboard like this that actually brings together what we have at the back end. Can you see that right now? So after you might have perfected your skill, the next thing is to actually set up a gig, right? So it is time for you to learn how to set up a gig on Fiverr. So let's just go to YouTube. Right on YouTube, search for how to set up a gig and come over here and click on this ear. That will actually give you a filter of some relevant, you know, uh, posts about how to set up a gig that can go along with the current, you know, Fiverr interface, right? So after you have learned through here, the next thing is to go to any gig of your choice right here that correlates with what you want to offer and see what this person had actually done. If I scroll all the way right here right now, you can see here, he says work experience, and if I scroll down a little bit now, so we can have the path for certification. So all these are very important and frequent uh, FAQ here. So feel all of that. Watch how this person had actually done all of this so that you can get an accurate gig. Okay, you have done this. It is time for you to start getting offers and get a job done to make the money. So we have what we call Marketplace on Fiverr. Go to Marketplace and see what are the projects that people are actually posting and bid for it. If your bid becomes accepted, now you have a project to start. Okay, let's say you have some couple of offers from there, but you don't have huge numbers of orders from there. So how do you outsource it? How do you go outside Fiverr to search for people that has projects to give you their project to actually do for them? So that is where YouTube has to come in. So let us go on YouTube and now I'm going to search for Data with Decision, my YouTube channel. So right here on this particular channel, I have over 70,000 subscribers and 327 videos right here. 
And if you look at it right now, all I do is teaching people how to use Microsoft Excel and as well Microsoft Power BI to actually, you know, answer business questions and help people with their data, either business or non-business, whatever. Okay, now, why are we here and what am I trying to preach right here right now? So if you want to tell people that you can do X, Y, and Z, don't just tell them or don't just give them some bunch of text to read through, show them the proof. What I've done here on this particular channel is showing you the proof that I can use Microsoft Excel, Power BI, and I'm teaching people for free. And that doesn't mean they will do it all by themselves. So most of those particular videos we have right here right now has actually given me tons of offers over the years. And currently, I'm still having some offers, right? So let me show you a proof quickly. All right, if you look at this, this particular client is from Saudi Arabia and uh, he went and said hi and uh, over here he said uh, I asked about design dashboard for sales especially in spare parts and uh, I said hello I will need to see the sample of your data and he sent me some couple of data right here so this is to show you how you can actually do the business of freelancing and stuff like that so and we went ahead and start communicating through and we keep going and we start to actually start to talk about um you know how much the project will cost and i said it will cost you 170 dollars delivery day tomorrow so and he said okay no problem so we started arguing on i think uh, bargaining on the price and we actually you know uh agree to actually do it at 120 dollars okay next now is for me to show you the payment proof right here so if you want to become a freelancer you can see all you have to do is to Great content around what you do. So let's go down. Oh yeah, go all the way, go all the way up. So over here is a receipt for the payment. So you can see over here the payment receipt to my name. So what am I showing you here? So what I've done here is to create content around what I do. So this person watched some couple of videos I've actually created right here and believed in what I can actually do. And he decided to say, okay, you know what? You are the only person that can actually help me to do this. So why don't you go ahead and actually help me get it done? So after here, he says, after you finish this project, I will send you to create a new project in Power BI. Look at that. Look at that. That was because I have given him what he really wants and uh, that has earned me extra projects, right? So what you need to do is to create content around what you do. Put this particular content on Facebook page, on, uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, majorly, your content should go, the, the major content should go on YouTube. So create as many content as you like on YouTube. So to teach people how to use the software for free and people will come to you to actually help them do it. You know, not 100% free though. You're going to get paid for that. That is how you can actually get people, you know, in here to actually make money from any gig you set up right here.